Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. We're going to take a look at an idea called an improper integral. So an improper integral, an example, is if we had something like this, 0 to infinity of e to the negative x dx. Because look at this interval of integration. I mean, we have an infinity here. Wow. How do you deal with that? You can't just plug infinity in, but you can take a limit. And that's exactly what you do. So this is going to be equal to, we just take an antiderivative, which is negative e to the negative x. And then when we're evaluating, um, we can think, OK, at 0. But then here, we can think of a limit, not an equal, as x goes to infinity. So that means that we're going to take, we're going to evaluate this as a limit as x goes to infinity. So as x goes to infinity, the limit of this is, well, e to the negative big is going to be 0. So this is naturally going to be 0 minus negative e to the negative 0, which is just um, plus 1. So it's just going to be 1. So we've just successfully taking, uh, um, looked at this definite integral and evaluated it, even though the interval was kind of fupsky wampus. Let's look at another example. What if we take um, uh, what if we take the integral from uh, zero to one of one over square root of x dx? Notice that one of the bounds you can't plug in here. It doesn't really work. How so it so it doesn't even, so it doesn't really work. However. Um, it's nice for us that when we take the um, antiderivative, we actually get something that we can plug in, which is kind of great. And the whole time, what we're doing is we're going to be saying x goes to 0 from the right side, since we're considering an interval to the right of 0. Um, and uh, here, x equals 1, we can plug in just fine. The antiderivative will be x to the 1 positive 1 half, and then you divide by a half, so it's be just two. So notice that this limit will be just fine. However, we still call this an improper integral, even in this case, um, if there's a domain problem. So that would, so then this would simply be just be um, two, which is kind of nice. So this is, thinking about, this is actually an infinite area as well, because, well, at least in description, because we're kind of going from um, here, you know, along an asymptote line. But still notice how we still got something nice. And in general, if we have anything like this, like 1 over x minus 2, and we're integrating um, from uh, maybe from like 1 to 3, notice if we have a domain problem, this is again is an improper integral. Notice how 2 is in the interval. And it blows up. So we split this into two parts right here, from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 1. And then we consider this the same way as we did this over here and this as well, the same way we did this over here. Thanks for watching.